There is a stark beauty in northern Sweden. This is the city of Luleå, home to 75,000 hardy souls, and because of abundant hydroelectric power and nature's potent cooling system, an internet data server the size of 11 football fields. Volvo has brought automotive riders here to show off the 2020 V60 cross country in its natural habitat. The cars are made 800 miles down the road in Torslanda, Sweden, where it has to be warmer. Clearly, Volvo rules here, and wagons are a very popular choice. Those Swedes are as smart as they are resilient. So we're this far from the Arctic Circle. It's about seven degrees below zero, and I'm severely jet lagged, but I'm here because I really believe in this body style. Um, I've got about three hours of daylight to shoot this. It may not be pretty. The car is though. Volvo starts with the V60 wagon and applies the cross country cues, adding some cladding and raising it 1.3 inches for an 8.3 inch ground clearance. It's like crossing Subaru's Outback with a classic Scandinavian furniture store. The result is a sleek low sport ute with a roof height that's easier to load gear onto, no ladder needed. A lower center of gravity means better handling. We start in a toasty warm briefing room. So we just go to the program for today. Where we're told not to drive into snowbanks. Fair enough. Then it's off to the cars parked across the street under the Lulio library. No, 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 no. We are not doing the Costco test. Don't have time and I'm pretty sure they don't even know what Costco is here. I could use, I don't know, Ikea lack tables, but my gear bags are handy. Room is a little less than a mid-sized crossover at 60 and a half cubic feet because of the lower roof line, but sports gear loads up well. This is the last of the warm as we head out to a test track. Well, if nothing else, we've seen a Swedish parking garage. We have. My drive partner is Jordan Golson, a tech and transportation writer. You may have read him in Wired and The Verge. It's 11 Celsius in the garage. Right now, it's 10 degrees below zero Fahrenheit. Reviewing the cross country in the garage sounds like an excellent idea. Instead, Volvo leads us through Lulio to the Gulf of Bothnia, and not by it, on it to show off the all-wheel drive system on a set of sheer ice courses. Experts claim to have tested the thickness of the frozen salt water, and it's over a meter thick. So we're good, right? Right? There are two powertrains for us to drive, conveniently color-coded. I'm skipping the red T8 plug-in hybrid version because, at least initially, it's not coming to the US and time's a-wasting. T5 badging on the back means a turbocharged 2.0-liter 4-cylinder delivering 250 horsepower and 258 pound-feet of torque. All cross countries run with a Borg Warner all-wheel drive system. The transmission is a smooth shifting eight speed with manual control here. The selector has a great mechanical feel. There are no paddle shifters. Uh, this car doesn't need them. Uh, time to hurry. Yeah. Need to mount the GoPros quickly. Check, 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 check. Gotta do these sort of things. We're only getting one shot at this. Time is of the essence. Jordan, fresh off a winter driving course, takes the wheel first. These cars are outfitted with winter tires that make a big difference. For the first few laps, we're directed to keep the electronic stability control on. How's she feel? Feels good. Yeah? I can feel it. There, yeah, I off. felt a little something. That time I gave it a little extra, but... Some new tech. Volvo has a car-to-car -car system that tells other Volvos nearby that the stability control system and anti-lock brakes are working overtime to keep the car from sliding out of control. Sometimes you will see a warning sign popping up in the display with a small cloud about. And, and that shows that you have other Volvos within nearby you that get some engaged stability control system. So it actually warns you that you are entering an area where you have slippery conditions. This is a pilot program in Norway and Sweden only. See, it's holding. We should have been going sideways. Yeah. The combination of tires, electronics, and Jason's skill do a good job of keeping the cross country going. <laughs> well, cross country instead of into the snowbanks. Oh, somebody couldn't make their turn. Slow is smooth, smooth is fast, and all that. We're then instructed to turn the electronics off, though they never fully disengage. 
a little too much. But then we can do this. Uh, we got it. <laughs> okay, one more lap, then you're coming in to change. There are issues with gear when the temperatures dip below zero. GoPro mounts don't stick all that well. Yes, it covers. Jordan seems impressed by the driving dynamics. Time for me to discover for myself. I will say it is very controlled. For as bad as I'm driving. <laughs> Hey, that was much better. Yeah, getting my old Minnesota habits back. And I'd show you what happens next, but a dead battery. Uh, let's just say it wasn't graceful, but I stayed out of the snowbanks. We also did maneuvers to simulate the moose test. This is 70 kilometers per hour through here. Not bad. In other words, dodging a moose. And I have to say, the performance inspired confidence. Of course, the Volvo team has designed the course to show off the capability of this vehicle, but it gives us a good idea of how the V60 handles bad conditions. Slipping off the road into deep snow in these temperatures can mean the difference between living and dying. Seriously. Since many of these will never see snow, or even a dirt road for that matter, let's check out the interior. It's a nicely crafted space that feels very Swedish. Really, I'm here in the country, I can vouch for that. The multi-stage heated wheel is a godsend today. Volvo seats are among the best in the business. They'll soothe and support the most discerning Vikings. Uh, heated and vented too, but most important right now, heated. Kind of felt I had to play ABBA on the Bowers and Wilkins sound system. It sounded great, even though I don't like ABBA. There are the usual storage areas. Nothing all that roomy. It's getting cold. My camera won't focus. It's not operator error. Okay, uh, back seat time. I'm more than happy to spend lots of time telling you about this space because it's nice and warm back here. Uh, space is okay. Uh, foot room might be a little bit tight and the uh, drive shaft tunnel is on the big side, but for the most part, you got everything back here, including Ooh, heated seats, which is really, really nice here. The back is optimized for two passengers. There's places for them to put hats, scarves, and gloves. And there's this, which opens to a ski pass through if you want to haul people and keep your Rosignols safe in the car, just like an SUV, really. And this big glass roof is just terrific. I'll just admire it for a while and, and warm up. I can't do that, I'm racing the sun. The Volvo team is intent on showing us more capability, so we're pointed down this short, steep spot to check out the hill descent control. And there are other obstacles that owners will probably never take their own cars on. But this should give you a solid idea that you don't need a Jeep Grand Cherokee, Acura RDX, Mercedes GLC, Audi Q5, or Volvo's own XC60 for that matter. This wagon will get owners through more than they will ever ask of it. Got to keep moving. As we head off the frozen gulf, there's a lot of Swedish life to see. The good people of Luleå clearly don't let a little cold weather bother them. They're out living life, and why not? This is a beautiful place, uh, but it's still cold and it still keeps GoPros from sticking well to the sheet metal. Uh, we make do. The ride quality is on the firm side, but softer than the standard V60. My family owns a Volvo XC70 that's bigger and far more softly sprung than this, so perhaps I was expecting something very cushy. Cross country gets standard automatic emergency braking and not just pedestrian detection, but large animal as well. Turns out moose versus car incidents are common in Sweden. Mercifully, we don't test that. The adaptive cruise control and blind spot warning systems are effective. There's too much snow on the road for the pilot assist to keep the car locked in its lane confidently. And turns out I'm not the only Volvo owner in the car. Mr. Golson drives the last generation V60. Does he notice a difference? Yes, huge differences, and I'm really annoyed by it because this one's a lot better, and I really think I want one. And now I'm gonna have to go buy one. Well, you're a journalist. You make tons of money. Oh, so much. 
This one is built on the new scalable architecture that underpins all modern Volvos. It's as solid as the ice sheet on the Gulf of Bothnia. Uh, Gripe's visibility out the back is not all that hot, and the Census user interface has a lot going on. Sometimes the smaller fonts can be hard to read quickly. Switching to Android Auto or Apple CarPlay simplifies things. The standard V60 wagon is available now. Volvo starts taking orders for the cross-country model in March, with delivery in July, y you know, when it's warm. Pricing? Well, I'll guesstimate that it starts at $41,000 and tops out at fifty-two dollars for the version that we're driving. This is not inexpensive, but if I'm right, that's some $5,000 less than its closest competitor, the Audi A4 Allroad. And inside and out, the V60 is handsome and capable. It's three o'clock in the afternoon. It gets very dark in Sweden very early. And the temperature's dropping. My camera's beginning to act up again in odd ways. I wish I could better show how impressive the headlamps are as they bend, adapt, and mask off on the left so not to blind oncoming drivers. They're brilliant. Too bad our government doesn't allow them. As this short, frantic trip to understand the V60 cross-country comes to a close, it's time for the Swedish tradition of fika, or snack time, coffee and cinnamon rolls. Will the V60 sell as well as the XC60 crossover? Uh, nope. Americans just don't buy wagons like the Swedes. But Volvo will keep the wagon tradition alive in the US. For some, the body style offers a nice, warm feeling. Fun fact, the V in V60 means... Anyone? Sven? Thor? Ingrid? Uh, versatile. It means versatile. Uh, one more. If you've ever shopped at Nordstrom, the founder, John Nordstrom, was born in Luleå. Understand that Volvo flew me to Sweden to experience this, and time was short. I used some running footage the company provided. Know that I'm being as accurate as I can be to show what this vehicle is about. It's important for me to offer up the best information possible. Shoppers in this segment are plunking down a lot of krona, but this is a solid vehicle, and it's not just because auto riders love wagons. And special thanks to Jordan for being patient as I ran around like a caffeinated squirrel to get the shots I needed for this piece. It was quite an adventure. It reminds me of my Minnesota days and why I moved to Seattle. They're uh, telling me I need to go to the airport. So that is my look at the Volvo V60 cross country. Uh, hey, hi there. Oh, I'm sorry. That's okay. Uh, that's the way it is here in Sweden, especially when you're in a hurry. Uh, that's driven. I'm Tom Volk. You should use that one. I'm going to use that one. <laughs> ah!